Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to another Everton 24-7 report on a rather quiet news day, which is, let's be honest, most likely going to be insufficient to help you get over just the latest Everton debacle. Just the latest in a long line of Everton debacles, but God loves a try, so we'll get to it and we'll start with a story involving a player who is currently out on loan, and that is Mohamed Besic. He's dropped the hint that he wants to turn his Sheffield United loan into a permanent deal. He's informed, apparently, those who need to know about his wishes this summer. Presumably by that he means Marcel Brands. And it seems to be a situation which suits everybody, everybody really. Sheffield United want to keep this player, he wants to stay, and Everton are, of course, keen to offload him as soon as possible. He's got a year and a half left on his contract, and we're obviously trying to raise some funds ahead of a big summer rebuild, which you'd imagine Carlo Ancelotti is keen on. Some rumoured incomings with that in mind, and the Athletics suggest that Everton have got fresh competition from Manchester United now for Christoph Piotek, the Polish striker. It's a part, it's a part of that Man United have got a view for him to have be a, maybe a short-term replacement for the injured Marcus Rashford, so maybe a, maybe a season-long loan just until the summer. But the article claims that AC Milan are trying to insert an obligation to buy clause in any deal that they do which is putting off most suitors at the moment, which may well include us. As I said recently, Piotek on loan is not the worst idea. He's a good player, but whether he's worth the reported £30 million asking price is a big question, and I don't think he's worth it, to be honest, and I think we should be saving our money for other signings, particularly in midfield, which, judging by last night, is a far more urgent need. Just one more rumoured incoming actually on this very quiet day, like I say for rumours, and Everton have reportedly made an inquiry for Aidan Alkmaar winger, Usama Idrissi, if inside football are to be believed. He's a Morocco international and he's scored 13 times from the wing. An exciting signing maybe, I mean, everyone loves a tricky winger, but again, it's not one I can see happening when the, the centre of midfield is such a pressing need that it's really causing us some problems. Lo and behold, West Ham have also been linked with this player and the rumoured fee is around £20 million to sign him. I might be becoming a bit cynical, but once again, this sounds like a rinse and repeat transfer rumour as far as Everton are concerned. And having done these shows now since last summer, you do begin to take these things firmly with a pinch of salt. But we will end with a rumour which many Blues can get behind, and that is that the Daily Mirror have suggested that Mason Holgate is well in Gareth Southgate's plans for a place in his next England squad in March. If that proves to be the case, he could be set to make his England debut against either Denmark or Italy in two months' time. So fingers crossed Mason can keep up his brilliant form and keep on keeping on, because he's been fantastic this season, and... I think an England cap is very, very deserved on what we've seen from Mason Holgate this season. As we've discussed on recent shows regarding Calvert-Lewin, I'd love to hear your stance on whether this is maybe a bit too soon. I know he has been very good, but are we rushing things a little bit as far as England are concerned? So is it the right time for him? Does he need to kick on a little bit more before he gets the nod? So definitely make, make sure you let us know your opinion and drop us a comment below. And as of, of course, just let us know Whatever you're thinking about the topics that we've discussed on this show tonight, I know there's not many. It's been a very quiet day because the media are too busy taking the mickey out of us because of what we did last night. But nonetheless, get involved, give us a comment, give us a like, give us a subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be back on Friday with another transfer news update and until then, thank you guys for watching on the Toffee Blues.